most definitely children can have sleep disorders and you know they react differently than adults do you know when we're tired and we're not getting our, our sleep then we act slow and sluggish and you know we want to go take a nap but with kids they get hyper and they act out and tend to have behavioral problems. Some typical sim signs or symptoms to look for, you know, if your child snores, that's not, not a good thing, that's not normal. Uh, bedwetting, uh, aggressive or irritability, uh, if uh, they've got hyperactivity, um, if they gasp at night, some, some children will actually be severe enough to where they have that breakthrough snort or gasp after a pause in breathing and also just inattentiveness in school, if they're having trouble in school, and if you go in to wake them up and they've had adequate time to sleep, but they're really hard to get up, then that, that could be another sign. Undiagnosed obstructive sleep apnea can lead to problems in school, delayed mental and physical growth, and even heart failure because of repeated decreases in blood oxygen levels. 30 to 40 percent of children diagnosed with ADD or ADHD have some underlying sleep disorder. And so a lot of kids are labeled as being hyperactive or have attention deficit disorder and it could be an underlying sleep issue.